with the song, the Lord You're Awesome, it starts on the, the one, which is D flat, then it goes to the five, which is A flat, and then the six, which is B flat, and then the four, which is F sharp, G flat, however you want to approach it. And um, that's, that's the chorus, basically. And so we'll start with that, and we'll do it in time, we'll do it in my time. <laughs> Uh, you can adjust accordingly to whichever time that you know you're accustomed to or whoever you play with and that's what you always want to consider whenever you learn something online is that you're learning it but the people you're playing with may not be learning it and so you have to make the adjustment so that's just a little blurbage there all right so start with the one and the feel that I'm giving I'm hearing it like a like a kind of a the drummers how they play a chug you know they go so it's like a chug chug type of feel you know and and with that feel you already you're feeling yourself your shoulders shrugging and you're chugging like on a train or something like that and you can see everybody you know feeling what you're doing and so with the bass we go. And so what I was doing was basically dealing with the octaves. So you have the root and an octave. An octave is the, the same note a higher up. And I'm going between that and also you have the fifth degree, which is a good degree to work with, uh, with, the, with the root. So you're not too melodic, so to speak, with your bass line. And, um, and no one will look at you like you're you know, playing the melody as well. Uh, when I say the root five, actually has its tradition in country music, you know. You know, they're bouncing back and forth, so it gives it that bounce. So you're doing the same thing, but you're also, I'm also adding in what's called a ghost note. A ghost note is basically a, a, a note that doesn't have a, a, a value in, in pitch. So it's, it's like a thud. And so I'm... something that you would do just kind of to keep rhythm I guess. right to keep rhythm to, to to be in rhythm with the with the drums and but not adding so many notes so it's just giving me the feel as well as maybe giving the drummer the feel that I'm anticipating and and everybody else and so it's not really something that's really audible you don't have to emphasize it unless again if the drummer is not doing that feel and they're playing more straight beat if they're going back something like that your, your chugging will give that beat a, a chugging feel and, and, it's, and in a sense it's almost like you're playing to a click track or something like that or a, a consistent drum machine you know and you're just giving the drum machine life because the drum machine again is a machine right. so that right there is just the, the, doing that on the one then the five same thing on the five and then what I was doing with the six, I was just walking from the six to the one. So I was going six, seven, one, which is B flat, C, C sharp, or D flat, however you want to look at it. Anyway, and from there, I did a, a ghost note again to give that rhythmic pulse to go to the four. So it's... Four, and then I'm just walking from the four to the one. So four, five, six, seven, one. Now with the one, I was going back to, to, to my lowest string. And those notes are F sharp, or G flat, however you want to look at it. F sharp, A flat, G sharp, whatever you want to look at it. B flat. C and then the one which is D flat C sharp however you want to look at it and so again with that um, it's the notes are not held really long because again we want to emphasize that chugging feel so we're, we're kind of chopping it up to, up. And 
and that's where I would be going into the verse. Right, so the intro and, and the, the, I guess the chorus of Lord Your Awesome is basically the same way. Right. And you can do slight variations to give it a different feel, but it's basically the same thing. Basically the same okay. thing. And the verse is just uh, because of your love, because of your grace. Uh, by the way, if you if you don't if you're unfamiliar with the song, you can always look that song up and you you'll hear the you know how it's normally done, so you know the words, so you can come up with your own groove as well. Anyway, so you have the four to the five to the three to the four, then it stays on the four again. The four, five, and then a, a sharp five. And uh, f five depends on who you're playing with. It could be five one, you know, or five. And then it just goes again four, five, three, four, four, five, sharp five, five. Now in uh, some places you want to be mindful. They they may want to modulate. And so once you get to that sharp five, you may have to stay on that sharp five. And anticipate that you're gonna go up to D, uh, and that's that sharp five is actually the five of the next key that you would be going into. Well, we do that after the after the chorus. Then. The, right after so, the chorus. Right, so um, chorus and then verse. Chorus, verse, chorus, verse. But um, from the verse, they would modulate okay. to the next chorus in the new key. So you just want to be mindful of that, you know, to to see if that's the case. But if it's not, then you would just come back to the the five. And then you would start again on the one. Uh, so just for your info, the four is F sharp, the five is A flat, the three is F, four again, F sharp, then the four, F sharp, A flat, the five, sharp five is A, five. Okay, and so, and then you're back into the tune. Was it for your ears? Now there, the feel again is the chug. So I'm doing a lot of root fives type of feel, but with the ghost notes. So I'm going. There, uh, I'll show you a little little something also um, to get to the sharp five. You don't have to do it. You could just go five sharp five. But sometimes I prefer to, I like doing turnarounds, you know. And so my turnaround is from the five, I go to the four, F sharp, and then a minor three, which is uh, E, and then a fourth over to the A. So in time it would be. You know, so it's just giving it a little turnaround of feel and that that I feel normal. Yeah. So let me ask this. So as far as the shapes are concerned, like I know you guys, I don't play bass, so I know I hear you talk a lot about shapes. When you change the keys, I guess the shapes stay the same. Right. The shape will stay the same. So whatever you play in one key, you're basically playing it in the next key. Um, the only difference is is that now your hand is in a different position, and if you're comfortable playing in one you know spot of the neck. Then of course you're gonna have difficulty, difficulty rather, um, playing that shape. So you want to be able to play all the shapes or any pattern or anything that you know up and down the neck because it, uh, you know, it feels different. Where at the, some people feel uncomfortable playing at the top because your arm is up and you know you're using muscles I'm that sure you normally don't use. Yeah, uh, or it, it it just depends, you know. And down here your hand is in a different position and. And all over the bass, it, there's different tonalities, but that's a different lesson. So, um, quickly, quick, fast, let's get to the ending of the song. Uh, the drive, uh, vamp, however you want to call it. You know, we would be coming from, the, uh, usually it comes out from the verse. Um, and so you would be on the five. And what I like to do, again, is I like to do turnarounds uh, to get to the next note. I don't want to, uh, for the most part, I don't like to just sit there 
and then go to the next note because it, um, it to me it draws a, too much attention to it you know like you're lost or something you're trying to figure out the song so from the five we're going to the sixth degree which is B flat but a nice turnaround is there's a there's a two five a minor two five for the B flat which would normally be C to F to B and um, not in this lesson but in another lesson we'll talk about uh, what note values for that but for right now instead of the C we're gonna do the four F sharp to the three F and then to the B flat so in time it would be um, was in for your love So that takes you to the six. Now, um, right now, the way I'm playing it is just to give you the notes and the feel. It's not exactly how I play it, but it, again, it's just so you can get the notes and the feel. Um, and after you get the notes and the feel, then you would be able to embellish how you know, however you feel to embellish. Because right now, I don't want to embellish, so you understand what is being done. So again what I'm showing you is the foundation and then you're supposed to expound upon it and and add to it in a live setting so right now you're in the practice room and you're doing these things and you're practicing and it's alright to make mistakes in the practice room uh, so you can correct them so you won't do it live and so you you don't have to be hard on yourself if you make a mistake or you hit the wrong note or or if the feel gets you know off or different um, but as long as the feel is there live and of course again making the adjustment with whoever you're playing with so quick fast the end of the song the vamp uh, what I like to do is um, I actually like to do hits with uh, with the changes the changes are going to be the six to the three F and then uh, the four F sharp then the five A flat and then back to the six B flat and so it keeps going over you are awesome you are awesome you know um, it depends on it depends uh, w with the, who you're playing with if you can start off with hits if you establish it beforehand then you'll be able to do the hits but if not you would most most for the most part you'd be driving those notes almost like a, a rocky uh, eighth note feel so you'd be like And so forth and so you would have some some type of feel like that but again you would adjust to whatever drummer you're playing with they they may not be doing that they may st maybe they want to feel to still chug you know so you've been you know it's still chugging you may get that feel you can use that to set so the you can of the song. right yeah. so um the same repeating right so the first part of the song could be chugging but then the second part you you may want to have it rocky to rock out and then that for the most part if you have a guitarist they'll be very happy for that you know because that's when they can put on the distortion and and just go to town you know and and you're not playing anything that's going to really step on their toes and then to really open it up um uh, there's there's a rhythmic feel that the band can do uh, together that I've I've heard around. I don't think I came up with it or anything. This you know music has always been around, but uh, it's what you listen to that gives you ideas. And so you can do it as a band. You can do hits. You go. Uh, it's it's in threes. So it's one two three one two three. And anyone that is of a certain age may know that feel. And know that sound and we won't we won't say what it is uh maybe it, it'll, it'll be um a journey for you to figure out on your own and then you'll get the connection of how all music is related so anyway so we're on the six again uh the five uh the six the three the four to five and it's over so we're gonna go two three four <laughs> So
So you saw how we went from the hits and then we went back into the drive. And so it's just, it just gives it variety in the song. And then it also gives room for the other instruments that, that may, um, may not have played so much during the song, but now it gives them an opportunity to solo like the guitar or maybe you have an auxiliary keyboard with a certain sound that's giving it an enhancement. And so again, we're a team, when you play in a band, it's a team. And so everybody will, you'll get your time, you know? So you don't have to put your licks in and do all, you'll have your chance to do your licks as well as the drummer, you know? The drummer will have his chance, the keyboardist, everybody will have their chance. You know, you don't have to have your chance all the time. You know, I understand we live in a microwave world where we want the food to be heated up immediately. But if, just like with the microwave, if you notice, um, after you take your mic microwave food out, uh, the food gets cold very fast. And so that's exactly what will happen to your licking and chopping all the time. It gets cold very fast and people will start to get annoyed and um, uh, eventually you'll find yourself in dire straits. <laughs> Not only with people, but also with God because God is supposed to get the glory. Anyway, that's the whole song. It usually, after the vamp, it would go back into the chorus. Uh, Lord, you are awesome. Uh, but again, you just be mindful because everybody's different. And, and also you want to be mindful, like we said earlier, that the, the key could change, you know, and so all those things. But for the most part on the bass, it's the same shape and it works out, you know, in your favor. So again, this is Lord, you are awesome. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at gospelprogressions.com. Uh, and have a blessed day. God bless. And thanks again for having me.